In this video, I'm going to talk about a induction heater circuit that I just put together. This is part of an old induction heater that was a Roya heater that I made earlier that proved to be unreliable, so I wanted to convert it into something that would be more controllable, which is what I'm doing here. So what I have is a six-tone copper coil. It's about two inches in diameter. I have a, a coupling transformer, which is made of ferrite, and I have about 20 turns of, it looks like 16 gauge wire around it. I've got four microfarad cat bank and uh, I'm getting my oscillations actually from a 555 timer which is right here on some breadboard and then I'm feeding the signal into the remains of a solid state Tesla core. So here's this Tesla core circuit, IGBTs, and these seem to cause a lot of heating if I use a single UCC chip, so I'm doubling them up as shown here. Uh, gate drive transformer right there. It's a 33 volts clamp on the gates. And then I'm smoothing out everything with this bank of capacitors. These are connected in series. They're two 10,000 microfarads, so it gives about 5,000 total microfarads. So everything's connected up. I have a not very good um, full bridge diode here. This is rated for a maximum of 100 volts, so this thing can't be pushed very high. And I'm using a small variac, which is only rated for a maximum of 500 watts. So um, what I was attempting to do, and I got varying results, was to get some feedback to let it run itself so I could turn off the 555 chip. And it proved it worked but it just proved to be a little variable, so I've disconnected this. But I had this connected in the way that a solid state Tesla coil would work with, a, with, a, with an antenna. I was trying to get antenna feedback with one of these, and so far with variable results. So I'm still going to mess around with that, but for now I'm going to run it without the feedback. The variant really starts to buzz. <laughs> 